Welcome to Salinas River State Beach. I am standing on the fender of my horse trailer, getting Fame to line up so that I can mount. This is a new thing that my trainer has taught him, and it is very convenient. I absolutely love it, and he's been such a good boy with it. And you'll see here in a second uh, a glimpse of the parking lot. So for those of you who live in the area and you're thinking about wanting to take your horse to the beach or looking for a beach to go to, this is a great one. This is my first time here, but I was really pleased with it. And as you can see, this parking lot is quite large. I'm here on a Sunday morning, and there ended up being probably close to a dozen rigs when I was there, horse trailer rigs, and then still room for just regular cars as well. So it's a nice big lot. And uh, back to my left there where the big rig was parked, there are a couple of porta potties. Uh, there is no horse trough. So if you're gonna be out for a long ride, I do recommend bringing your own water for your horse. But another thing that's really cool about this beach is not only is it equestrian friendly, but it is not dog friendly. So if your horse is uncomfortable with dogs, you won't have to worry about that. And if you want to canter on the beach for a little bit, you don't have to worry about any dogs giving chase. This beach is located halfway between Santa Cruz and Monterey, overlooking the Monterey Bay. And I will leave an address down in the description in case you're interested in checking this beach out yourself. Good boy. You're doing great, fame. And there they are, perfect timing. I'm actually doing this ride with a group of friends and because with the baby and everything, we showed up a little bit late. They went on ahead with plans to loop back to where I'm at. And so we're just gonna be catching up with them here in a second. So this is Fame's second time on the beach. Um, we've been to Pebble Beach where we've been this close to the ocean, but we haven't actually been on the beach. We've been on kind of a trail near the water. And then there was one time up at Five Brooks, which is in the North San Francisco Bay, where we walked onto the beach like this, and that was his first time. Um, but yeah, he's definitely new to this. You're doing so great. Looking at all the stuff. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of debris that's been washed up uh, from the ocean that's out here laying on the shore. So Fame's definitely having to really pay attention to where he's putting his feet. There's a lot of things to look at, a lot of things that he might be worried about stepping on. You can see he was looking at that log over there on the right. Um, and so I'm basically keeping a a fairly close rain. <laughs> yeah, see, he's like, I don't want to step in that right now. Um, and just really trying to support and guide him by having a little bit more contact so I can really steer him. And I'm also using my legs to kind of reinforce where I'm asking him to go so that he knows what, what the direction is, what the plan is, that he's got some clear leadership on my part. And then if he really starts relaxing a lot and doesn't seem to be anxious or rushing and kind of lowers his head a little bit, I might drop down to a completely loose rein. <laughs> oh! Wow, Jack's like, I got this, guys. So some of the people that I'm riding with over on my right side there are going into the water. Fame is not really ready to do that yet. Again, this is his second time on the beach and I think he's doing great for where he's at. He is rushing a little bit, so I'm just doing some, some circles here to kind of slow him down and get him reoriented back to me. I doubt it. I think we would be having a similar experience. So here we're just taking a break. Fame's getting a chance to sniff the sand. I really like that he was very happy to just stand completely still. There have been rides where he's on the more anxious side and he wants to keep going. And so it was great to kind of see him just stand quietly. And then we found some driftwood or some logs that had come up onto the beach. And it was fun to just practice going over them because a lot of the stuff on the beach, he's been reluctant to step in. And this was great practice for him. One more 
time. Good boy. All right, let's let Thelma do it. So we've turned around and we're headed back to the parking lot. And one of the things that I am very pleased is that he is number one, not rushing. A lot of times with going out and back as opposed to doing a loop, uh, he'll know that he's going back home and so he'll pick up the pace and that's common. A lot of horses will do that and I'm really pleased to see that he's actually even more relaxed now. The other thing I'm really pleased about is that um, even though some of our buddies are quite a bit up ahead of us, he is not in a hurry to run up and catch up to them. We do have another horse uh, riding over to the left. So I think that is kind of helping to ground him. But nonetheless, you'll see here in a second, we do end up on our own for a little bit and he's still very relaxed about it. So up here on the left, you'll see is a very large abandoned tractor tire in the sand and Fame's a little worried about it. So he starts uh, picking up his pace a little bit and I use it as an opportunity to yeah. do circles around it. And it kind of helps him realize that it's not big, it's not scary, and it's good practice for us to get him to listen to me, even though he sees something that he's a little bit worried about. He gets a chance to kind of look at it from a distance and realize it's not gonna hurt him. At the same time, he's also practicing listening to me. All right, big guy, you're doing so good. So here I am challenging him a little bit. Uh, those tracks that you see, the circular tracks up uh, on the right there, were us and I am just kind of getting him a little bit closer to the water. I'm curious to see how he would do. Our buddies have actually left at this point and they have gone up into the dunes, which we're going to follow them now. And it was a great test to kind of see how he would do being completely left when all the horses went away, in addition to also being challenged getting a little bit closer to the water. And again, I was just totally pleased and thrilled with how calm he was and how not a big deal it was to have the other horses leave. You can see right now he's kind of eyeing. There are very thick cables on metal posts that line the sides of the trail. And they're very big here about you not crossing into the dune area and trampling all the, the flora and fauna and tearing it up. They really want you to stay on the trail. And so there's, there's a few times where he's kind of looking at this sort of channel on either side of him going, what are these things? But he pretty quickly adjusts. So now we are headed back toward the parking lot. And as you can see, there is a second trail that runs parallel to the beach, to the shoreline. So you can opt to either ride directly on the beach or you can come inland a little bit. And there's a very lovely, much quieter, very peaceful uh, track that runs parallel to the beach that's in some deeper, softer sand. Um, but as you can see, the terrain is still just beautiful. So there's several places where you can cross back over if you want to get back onto the beach or vice versa if you want to get back into the dunes. And this is kind of a lovely little sand bridge that they've created. Unfortunately, you'll see here in a second as I get to the end that the cables are down. Um, the, the posts have collapsed and the wiring is down in the sand. And I just didn't really want to chance him potentially getting his feet caught up in that. And so we opted to turn around and just go back to the parking lot through the dunes instead of going back to the beach. So there's those porta potties on the right there, as I mentioned before, and we're approaching the opposite end of the parking lot from where we left. And lately when we do out and backs, 
and really just any trail ride I get the chance to if I have the time I like to ride past the trailer and go back out onto the trail to just let him know that just because we're coming back doesn't mean that he can make a beeline straight for the trailer and you know rush home and so by practicing going back out again I'm hoping that it just reinforces for him that I'm the one that calls the shots and that you know rushing back isn't going to do him any good because he can't predict what's going to happen next and this also gives us a chance to go back out and meet my husband and my baby who have been out hiking along the shoreline and kind of check in and see where they're at too. So I do definitely feel like this time around he's settled quite a bit. He's not quite as worried about the debris on the ground even though he still tries to avoid it. He's still eyeing the waves. Um, his head is lower. He is a lot more relaxed than when we first got started. And I'm also, again, impressed because all of his friends are back at their trailers, you know, munching away on their hay because my friends have all stopped and ended their ride. And we're going back out and I'm not getting any kind of resistance from him. He's not making a fuss about it. He's being a really, really good boy right now. So he's being such a good boy that I decide once we pass these people up here on the left, I really want to give him a chance to lope a little bit on the beach. I have dreamed of doing this with him ever since I bought him years ago, and I can't believe it's happening. So I apologize that the footage is going to be very shaky here for the next few seconds. I've got to figure out how to kind of strap the GoPro down to my chest a little bit better so that it's not flopping around. Um, but hopefully it doesn't make you sick, but just for a few seconds here, we get a few stretches of, of a canter on the beach. So that was a super exciting moment for me. Again, as I mentioned, I've dreamed of being able to canter on the beach with him for years and years now. And we finally got to do that, even though it was just for a little bit. I thought he did great. He, he got a little nervous there about stepping in something and kind of juked halfway through. And so we, he kind of broke down and then I got him going again and we had a nice little stretch there. And I didn't feel like he was rushing into it. He was very relaxed. It was a lot of fun. And then when I asked him to just drop down to a walk right away, he did a pretty good job of it. So the transition was pretty good considering that this was our first little jaunt on the beach. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along the ride with us. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you live locally and you wanna check this beach out, again, don't forget to check the description and we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.